Good afternoon and welcome back to some beer R&R. Yes, that's beer revelance and beer reverence with the beer buffoon himself. Welcome to Andy Does Ales. Well, I tell you what, it's been a momentous week, hasn't it? It really has. You know, we've uh, we've lost a woman who's been a monarch of this country for every year of my life, of course. And it feels like, feels like, you know, I liked her. She was, she was all right. Feels like I've lost me gran again. It does. So, you know, much commiserations to the, the royal family that I like. I don't like some of them. Some of them can go and take a running jump into a lake of boiling pus. But some of them I do like. And yeah, thoughts goes out to them. And also, you know, the new bike arriving. Perfect. Lovely. So let's have a drink. Brilliant. Brilliant. Anyway. Right, today I'm going to be heading back up to the High Peaks, my old, uh, sort of my old stomping ground, and we're going to go to Buxton, Buxton Brewery, with a 50-50 IPA. Now this is uh, a collaboration of two American, well, an American hop and a British hop, the Citra British hop and the uh, Olicana, no, sorry, wrong way around, the Citra US hop and the Olicana UK hop. This is a 5.5% IPA uh, brewed in Buxton. And it says here, the ser it's a series of beers. Well, I'll find the rest of them. A series of beers bringing together wonderful hop varieties from the US and the UK, which is you know probably why it's called 50-50. Um, and it's not called Ask the Audience or something like that. It's designed to showcase the character of each variety and to celebrate the intertwined history and development of modern hops. Well, of course, they're being grown and, and, ex and experimented on all the time, aren't they? So let's have a look then. It's a 5.5%, so it's all the fives, isn't it? 50-50, 5.5%. Great stuff. How are we going to give it 5 out of 5? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh, it's a tiny bit lively. Now, some IPAs can be a little bit wishy-washy bit weak and watery some of them can be overbearing and too powerful i do like an ipa um and i do like one that's we've got a good body good character this one this one looks a little bit pale to me this one does so it might not come up to the beer buffoon standards who knows well there you go whoa stringy bits I should have swirled the can round, shouldn't I? Didn't think that through. No, didn't. Anyway, okay. Massive head. 2,000 finger head. And it looks like, you know, they're making... I don't know what's in there. I think there's some kind of dinosaur DNA in there or something like that. Anyway, right. Let's see if I can get through this froth to give it a sniff. Right, you can smell the citrus straight away you can you can smell that lovely freshness and clean smell that an IPA has mm. and I keep saying every time I smell that if you go bottle that and put and make it into a you know an air freshener that'd be wonderful that'd be really good that would mm. fabulous a really really good smell there's not a lot else but there's that just that lovely sort of IPA smell. Right, it's come out a bit cloudy because buffoon here forgot to swirl the can around. It doesn't say on it that it's um, unfiltered or bottle conditioned or anything. So how am I to know? I don't know. I don't know. Buxton, how am I to know? Buxton Brewery, I'm asking you. Let's give it a quaff and see what happens. Cheers, everybody. Happy days. That is a very good IPA indeed. Right, yes, it's citrusy. You've got the citrus notes. You've got the, the, the zinginess and the sharpness of, the, of those citrus hops. That is wonderful. That is a really, really good mouthful. Lovely mouthful feel. Um, you've got a, 
you can you can taste that freshness as it as it goes in. It's a lovely, lovely feeling. Not too bitter on the back taste. That's nice as well. That's because that's quite that, that shows it's well balanced. That does. The head's gone down to an acceptable level. That is lovely. That is very nice indeed. Buxton Brewery, 50-50, half Citra, half Olicana, half UK, half US. A US, you know, a hop-inspired IPA. Oh, yes, I'm getting the... Getting quite a bit of a and a, a lovely gentle bitter back taste. It's it's a, it's just creeping up on me, like it's sort of poking. I'm here. Oh, oh yeah, I'll be buying this again. This is this is fun. I reckon Vickers like this, even though yeah, I'll try it with it before the before I finish it. See what she thinks. She'll probably screw her face up at it. But. Might be too bitter for her, but it is. As IPAs go, it's not wishy-washy, it's not overpowering, it's not strong, it's perfect right in the middle. We like that. Mmm. Fabulous. And at 5.5%, it really is a very, very well-balanced beer, that is indeed. Highly recommended. Buxton Brewery. Probably got it from uh, Tesco or Moses. One of the two. I don't know. And while I'm on that kind of subject, um, of course, you know, sometimes you get it wrong. I, I've got 60 odd beers over there to, to look at and I can't remember where I got them all from. The last one I did, a stout, I said I got it off Malcolm, but Martin's friend at work. Wasn't that one was off Martin himself. Apologies, Martin. Sorry, mate. I am chastised, and I will not make the mistake again. I'll have to write on the thing who got who got it me. So anyway, I'll buy you a pint when we go out next week. Whenever we, next time we go out, definitely <coughs> makes you burp, does the job, and uh, yeah, go for it. Have a look, see if you can find it. <coughs> Pardon me. You'll not be sorry. I tell you. Right. It's going to be strange saying king instead of queen. Anyway, there we go. Life happens. We'll see you all very soon. Take care of yourselves. Keep drinking and please subscribe and please like and please comment and please share. Oh, share. Yes, that'll do. That's a new one. Share as well. See you soon, folks. Take care. I've got a light over my shoulder. Don't tell anybody. No, don't tell anybody. Greetings. Hello and welcome back to a Sunday afternoon. Uh, 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 oh, no. Bug. Bug.